happy cancer season my loves i'm super excited this is part of my zodiac tapping series where every zodiac sign we do a quick little tap in to really get excited for that season we just closed off gemini which was all about commu communication and socializing now we're moving into cancer home so um all all the zodiac signs follow a journey so i'll try and like make this short and sweet before we tap so we started with aries aries is about the self the first house like who we are then Taurus came along and was like y'all look a little bored I'm gonna create a world for you to play in so Taurus the earth sign created uh, material things our senses and, and our smell and our sight and then Gemini came in and was like oh, right you got everything but that's boring let's separate you all let's create new ideas and so Gemini came in and created ideas and uh, communication divided us all into our own little like groups and cancer comes in and goes right y'all y'all look very divided right now you all look a bit confused so i am going to bring you home and bring you five together in this home you ten together and created units created home created sanctuary that's what cancers do best they are the nurturers the caretakers they like to take in the the bird with the broken wing and nurture it back to life and to free it that is the power of cancer it's the ruler of the fourth house of home foundations and family the mother it's ruled by the moon um, again that's to do with emotions as water sign it's a cardinal sign cardinals are when the seasons change so we're moving into either you know depending on where you are in the world summer or winter and when we have this shift in energy cardinal signs are all to do with initiation action things moving forward and so during this cancer season there's a lot going on but really for this tapping and what we can focus on are some of those themes to do with our foundation and emotional foundation and our literal foundation at home how can we spruce up home a little bit you know is this something like i can see a little bit of paintwork that needs to be done over there like how can we create home and make it our sanctuary but also in terms of foundations as well this is a great time for us to ground and receive healing if we're a healer ourselves this is a great month to share your offerings to people and um, whether you're a reiki or eft or whatever it is that you do share that with the world because people need that or also this is a great time for you to heal yourself and to take some time to really get in touch with your emotions after a hectic gemini season probably of taking in so much energy off of the people cancer really wants you to slow down okay let's begin tapping for a wonderful cancer season like i said as a cardinal sign things are really gonna shift from gemini season it's gonna feel a lot more healing and nurturing so let's begin it is now cancer season i welcome in this fresh start And I take this time to really tune into my emotions and pay attention to my home and take care of myself. This is the perfect time to really go all in on my healing. So how can I do that? Perhaps I could book a Reiki session or a spa day or reconnect back to my therapist or just do more things that make me feel good that make me feel grounded and at home with myself. And during this cancer season, I also take a look at the physical space that I live in. Does it need a repaint or a tidy up? How can I turn my home into a sanctuary? And also, this is a perfect time to focus on family. Do I need to reconnect back to those that I call my family? 
and bring people together for a barbecue or something. And also during this cancer season, I really slow down to receive healing. To feel grounded and connected. And to nurture myself. I take good care of myself. I am already healing. And since cancer rules foundations too, I take time to think about my values and what I'm building in my life. I need to make sure I'm building on a strong foundation. And I reconnect back to my roots too. I reconnect back to my ancestors. And I also share healing with others. This is a time to be kind to myself and others. I am in tune with my emotions. I am safe in my body. It is safe for me to heal and grow. And I take care of myself. I give myself what I need. I really focus on how can I bring home back into my life? What does that word even mean? And during this cancer season, I welcome in miracles and blessings. I welcome in love and joy, connection, abundance, and feeling at peace with myself and life. I'm going to make this a wonderful cancer season. And so it is and so it shall be. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Then exhale. It's like a, mm. So I know that cancer season can also be a little bit heavy sometimes with emotions and healing and things like that. But really this is a great time to, like I said, pay attention to your home space. Physically, how can you change things up? Maybe you might want to redecorate, make it feel a bit more homely to you because as you change and grow, that needs to be reflected in your space too. I'm, I'm hearing get some house plants, right? House plants are amazing. Um, and also to go back to your healing. Perhaps you've been so busy with life that you've not been really journaling or doing your yoga or meditation or tapping. So to integrate that back into your life so that, you know, take care of your mental hygiene and your emotions. And also it's a great time to reconnect back to your family. It doesn't have to be your blood family if you want to, that's great, but it's about bringing people back together. And like I said, hosting perhaps, or really having that time together because, you know, cancer season really is about connection too. And for me personally, during this cancer season, one thing that I'm doing for the whole month is I'm having a social media 
detox um, and that's really scary for me to say because I feel like I need to be on Instagram, I need to be scrolling and making opportunities on Twitter etc and I've realised I've done that for so long and it's just not feeling like good anymore, I'm, I'm feeling disconnected from myself and my emotions and what's what really matters in my life which is the, the people and um, the physical world and my home and things so if that's something that you might think about doing definitely go for it, give yourself a little bit of social media detox um, and come back home to yourself which is one of the themes of cancer coming back home to you so have a beautiful cancer season don't forget to like this video and subscribe as well and i will be um, back posting more new moon and full moon tappings as well as of course for leo season next month as well so i'll see you there